What is up, guys? Hope you're doing well. Hey, I want to testify about something that God has used in my life. Oh! Sorry. Having to hold up the old can't, uh, phone holder here. That is running. Like, running, running, and running, running. Yeah, like running. Like, moving my feet fast, you know, like walking, but faster, right? <laughs> so, a little bit of how I got started running. Honestly, I don't know the exact start, but either I joined the cross country team in my middle school first, and then my mom started recruiting me to run with her in the mornings. Or my mom started recruiting her, and then I joined the cross country team. I probably joined the team first. And, anyways, the only reason I joined the team is probably because someone told me I should. But literally, I'm in middle school getting dropped off at school at 6 a.m. for three days a week to run some miles. Like, it didn't feel like discipline at the time because my dad was my alarm. Woke me up and dropped me off and and got to got to running. But then in the summer months, my mom would wake me up and we would go on a run together for, you know, a mile, two miles, probably about two miles. And that was some great quality time with my mom that we still look back on fondly. And again, also some discipline there that didn't feel like discipline. Like most middle schoolers aren't getting up at 6.30 in the morning in the summer to go run two miles, right? But I was, and it became normal. That's the best thing about discipline or any positive change you can make in your life is like when it becomes low effort, low thought, and just normal. That's just what you do. Like perfect, perfect, because you can sustain that. If you're using massive willpower related to a discipline, then it's just a matter of time until you get disappointed, right? Is it just me, or am I looking kind of tan? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Alright, getting distracted by myself. Maybe because it's date night, I'm looking forward to taking my wife out. Uh, anyways. So some discipline, some free discipline, right? Low effort, like it just, it just was a part of my life. Huge blessing. I didn't think highly of running. I didn't enjoy running at that age. And then summer after uh, eighth grade, I was at cross country practice, pre high school cross country, you know, three, four days a week. And again, did not enjoy running. I was just good enough at it. I mean, I wasn't great, but, you know, I could run. I got some chicken legs, so, you know, you just keep moving them. And so, anyways, it just kept me engaged in activities that were helpful. But it shifted freshman year of college, like most things, I guess. You know, when you're a kid, everything's like begrudging and, oh, why do I have to do this? And I don't like this. And then you become an adult and you get more vision, I guess, or more ownership, or I don't know. But something shifted where all of a sudden running became an outlet of joy for me and not something that I did out of obligation. It was like anytime I was so hyped that I had to just like yell, but I couldn't yell because I'm in a public place, I would just go run. It's like, I just gotta get this energy out. Like I'm just pumped right now. And the runner's high, was like the juice, guys. It was, and I've, I've never been like a super consistent runner at all since I was literally in cross country, which I only did through ninth grade. And then I dropped it to join football. But I love as an adult, the times where I go run, even if it's just on a treadmill for a mile, like I, man, just, just that feeling like you're flying and the endorphins flowing and especially if you're running outside you get to enjoy the weather get some sun on you get the high playlist with the beats you know like 
it's just fun. It's just good. It's just good. And I'm thankful for that. Because I didn't create the ambition to cultivate that in my life. I didn't have to earn that as an adult. It's just something that I turned to because I was already familiar with it. And I was already familiar with it because of circumstances and chance and, and God, not Jeremy, had a plan all along, you know. Um, and another thing I want to mention about running real quick, well, actually two more things. One, in 2020, it was like grace for me when I was just battling all the things happening in the world. And I'm a very big picture person, so I... I carry big picture things heavily and there were so many big picture things in 2020 like literally someone like you know something close to me could happen that's you know particularly tragic and it wouldn't it wouldn't shake me the way that something like oh the whole world is moving in blank direction even if it's generally malign. I don't know if that's even the right word to use there, but like benign? I don't know. <laughs> maybe benign. Like it's maybe it's not ideal, but it's not gonna necessarily grow, you know, or become this huge bad thing or signal the end of it all. Like even if it's that, um it will still bother me more. It will affect me so much. I was so affected. So many days in 2020, just struggling, angry, frustrated, sad, confused. Running was such an outlet for me, such a gift. Especially because you couldn't even go to the gym, you know, like to be by myself outside in public spaces, not close to anyone else. Such a gift. And you do it by yourself. Such a gift. Because most things that you didn't do by yourself, you couldn't do that year. Um, so I might just kind of wrap this up here and share more about running in another video about kind of a cool specific testimony that running opened me up uh, towards and it's related to the early days, the middle school days but just bigger picture or I guess like more specifically to running itself um, just thankful for the outlet that it gave me times in my life where it sustained me times in my life where it was such an expression of joy for me and of course it's good for my heart it's good for my brain as someone with ADHD man it's awesome to have something you can do that's good for you <laughs> like I don't I wouldn't say I've ever been addicted to running but I wish that I was you know <laughs> like it's it's been a good relationship for me and a stabilizing one and as it relates to discipline um it but for sure is the the thing that was the first thing that got me on like early mornings for example or even just consistent exercise running is different than a sport like you might go play soccer four days a week like I did during soccer season but it doesn't feel like that's like a chore it doesn't feel like you're just doing it for exercise because it's so fun running is not fun Especially then, it wasn't fun. It felt like I'm gonna go run a couple of miles. <laughs> like it, it, it was difficult, and even during it was difficult. Even in a race, like race day, difficult. Like so many times, I would just process, like, what if I just left mid race? Like, what if I just stopped and cut this off? You know, like it's boring. It's hard. It's lonely. And so, why am I saying that? The discipline of consistent exercise. Running is the first thing that started that in my life. And the discipline of waking up early, running is the first thing that started that in my life. And it probably became easier to identify with those things into my adulthood because I got to experience them at still a pretty formulative age and stage. So thankful for running, also the relationships that it has, uh, I guess, given me or some ways that running has been a blessing to my relationships whether it be with my mom specifically in middle school um, or just other friends I've had that you can go on a run with. And if you can't, if you can't run, 
that friend you have that likes going on runs, you can't run with them. <laughs> you know? But if you can run, then you can run with them, and that can be cool too, though. Anyways, so it's a few things I'm thankful for. Thankful to the Lord for putting uh, running in my life. And I'll share another testimony about it that's, in my opinion, pretty cool. I haven't actually thought about it in a long time. But it's probably more significant than I even know. I'll share that in a video soon. That's all I got for y'all today. Life is worship. God is love.